Good morning, all classes. Um, we've reached the end of the week. It's Friday. Um, great to see that you have been really involved in your uh, um, in your learning, which is fantastic as well. Um, just a few things to uh, think about, and that is a um, we really believe in respect, and I know that your parents will be working really hard with you to look at how they can help you with your learning at home. So make sure that you are giving them a break and not being too hard and being really respectful. Um, and actually, it's a really good time to say thanks, mum or dad, or whoever is helping you for all your hard work. Um, it, it is a little bit different, um, so I'm hoping that uh, yeah, you are sh being very respectful for that as well. Another thing we really believe in is challenge, and it is a challenge to do this type of learning and stay at home. Um, but what we are trying to really promote you to do is to be as um, independent as you can be. So if you are trying to work out some of your uh, your problems and the learning experiences yourself, that's a really great idea and well done for challenging yourself. Remember that um, on Monday we have our student elections for student government and if you go to connecting with our um, community page on the blog you will see um, a little bit of information from me, but you'll also see all of the videos from the leaders that are, um, that are putting themselves forward. Um, just to let you know, Bruno, we're still here. Bruno, Bruno. Oh, don't worry, he's actually uh, asleep on the ground. Let's have a great day of learning, everyone. Uh, remember to stay connected and enjoy yourself as well. Enjoy the weekend. Kia ora kuda. Remember, this time we are learning how to say hello how are you feeling, and replying with a different feeling each week. You ask how someone is feeling, you say, Kia ora, kei te pia koe. This week's feeling is hara kora, which means happy. So if you see a friend, you could have a conversation like this. Kia ora tō, kei te pia koe. Hi tō, how are you feeling? Kia ora Chloe, kei te hara kora aho. Hi Chloe, I am happy. Kete P here, ko Chloe. How are you feeling, Chloe? Kete harakua aho, to. I am happy, to. What about you, audience? Kete P here, kwe. Matewa. Matewa. Good morning, Forest Hill School. This is Mrs. Chung. I'd like to share with you two of my this moments during the lockdown holiday period. I'm very grateful for the time that I've had so that I can do the things that I've always enjoyed. As some of you may know, I have always loved doing arts and craft. This holiday, I finally managed to sew all the knitted squares that I've done before. And this is the blanket I've made, just in time for the cooler temperature. The second thing that I could do was to do some drawing. And this time I decided to draw my two sons. It was a very challenging task because it's really hard to draw facial features. I had to rub out many times and kept drawing. And finally I've done it and have a look. I'm very grateful that I could draw and I could brush up my drawing skills. Kia ora Forest Hill School. I hope you're all well and happy and safe in your bubbles. One of my dis moments um, has been walking around my bubble and really enjoying nature and seeing all the flowers and so I thought that I would share some of what I found with you. I'm grateful for nature and there's so many beautiful things to see when you take the time to stop and look. So if you have a garden, be sure to keep your eyes open and see what wonderful things you can see. Remember, it's also a great opportunity to practice your mindful flower breathing. Stay safe and happy.